Gavin also paid what was left over. How much extra did Gavin pay? All right, so let's read it for a second time. It says, Gavin and five of his friends rented a limousine. So whenever you see Gavin and five of his friends or Tommy and five of his friends, how many people are there total? Six. Six. So just cross Gavin and five of his friends out and we're just gonna say six people, people. rented a limousine for $220. Each person, each meaning what? It means multiply divide. No. What are we multiply divide? One person multiply divide paid the same amount. Each person paid the same amount. Everybody paid the same amount of money. No, everybody didn't pay $220. They split that up. Oh. Gavin also paid what was left over. Gavin paid what was left over. Left over means what? Oh. Remainder. It says, how much extra did Gavin pay? goes up top, multiply goes below. Did you stop her and tell her that you need to go grab something? All right, now let, then what do I do after I write my steps down? Write out my facts. Six. Six two eight four zero. Six two eight four zero. 
pattern. All right, now can I divide? Two divided by six. Two divided by six. If I have two pieces of candy, I can, but I've got to extend it to be 22. So 22 divided by 6. All right, so we're going to stop at 18. How many times is that? Three. Two, three. Three times. Then I multiply. Six times three gives me 18. Write that down. Then I do what? Subtract 22 minus 18, regroup, 12 minus 8 is 4, then I do what? Bring down my zero, my repeating or remaindering? Repeating. So I'm going to bring my 6 down, we say 40 divided by 6, where? Where am I going to stop at? 36. 36. Count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 times 6 is? 36. 36. 40 minus 36 is? 40 minus 36. Or 10 minus 6 is what? Four. So, we have $36 with the remainder of four. Now, let's go back to our question. It said, the question is asking the number that Gavin paid. Did he pay $36? No. Because of that extra $4 that he had to pay. It says that Gavin also paid what was left over. So you have to do 36 plus four. That should be, wait a minute. Six. That should be 40. Why is that not a choice? Oh, it says how much extra did Gavin pay? So if you think of the extra, you're talking about what the remainder is. So the answer is four. So what's the answer? The answer is B, four. All right, here we go. Johnny planted 60 apples trees. He planted the trees equally in six rows. How many apple trees did Johnny plant in each row? Sedonia, so turn around. You should be looking at your paper and not at your sweatshirt. This one should have been easy. All right, so Johnny planted how many apples? 60 apple trees. He planted trees equally in six rows. How many apple trees did Johnny plant in each row? Each meaning in one row. Multiply, divide. We do 60 divided by 6, which would give me 10. Didn't even have to do anything for that one. Yeah, well, there's probably still people that got it wrong. Oh, no, uh, the answer was A. All right, Michelle has 600 fish to feed the dolphins in the zoo. Each dolphin ate the same number of fish. There were nine dolphins in all. How many fish did Michelle have left? So, Michelle had 600 fish to feed the dolphins in the zoo. Each one dolphin ate the same number of fish. There are nine dolphins in all. How many fish did Michelle have left over? So what am I, let's pull my information out. There's nine dolphins. 
Number of fish total. Number of fish is 600. Number of dolphins is... How many dolphins? Nine dolphins. And what is the question asking me? The number of fish... Fish... Number of fish left over. So, how do I figure that out? I do 600 divided by 9. I do 60 divided by 9. Closest to 60 without going over is 54. Count how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. 6 times 9 is... 6 times 9 is... 54. Subtract. 5, 10, 10 minus 4 is 6. Then I'm going to do what? Bring down my zero and do it again. Nine divided by 60 is six. six. Nine times six is 54. No, we don't have to bring down. We already brought down the zero. Oh. So how many fish does she have left over? Six. She had six fish left over. I knew it. All right, now let's look at number nine. This is, you'll see some problems like this on the EOG, and they will try to trick you because of these things, these little bullets right here. It says, Wanda had a total of 439 beads. She counted an equal number of beads for herself and each of her three friends. Wanda put the extra beads in her pile. How many beads were in her pile? So, let's change it up. It says Wanda had a total of 439 beads. She counted an equal number of beads for herself and each of her three friends. So, how many total people? Three, four. Four. Is she giving you the answers? No. Is she teaching you how to do it? Then why are you turned around facing that direction? Okay. So, that way. so four people total, because you cannot forget herself and three of her friends. So it would be one person plus three. So that would be four people total. It says Wanda put the extra beads in her pile. How many beads were in her pile? So what am I going to have to do? Let's pull our information out. How many beads does she have total? 439 beads. She's breaking it up into how many groups? Three. Four. Four groups. The question is asking me, Number of beads in Wanda's pile. We are on number nine, yeah. So, to figure that out, I need to do... 439 
divided by four y'all apparently have this we'll have a test on it we'll have a graded worksheet in just a few minutes 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, E, M, S, P, R. All right, 4 divided by 4 is? 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 4 divided by 4 is 1. Multiply. 4 times 1 is? 4. four. Then I do what? Subtract. Subtract. It's me 0. Then I bring down my 3. 4 divided by 3 is what? Now 3 divided by 4 is? Yes, you can. 0 times. You can make zero groups with three, zero groups of four with three. So then you say four times zero, which gives me zero, subtract gives me three, then it brings down my nine. Four goes into 39, nine times. Four times nine is 36, subtract gives me three. So I have 109 beads with the remainder of three. The remainder of three. Now, what is my question asking me? The number of beads in Wanda's pile. It says Wanda put the extra beads in her pile. So everybody, all four of her friends have 109 in her pile. But Wanda has 109 plus all the extra. So how many does Wanda have? 112. 112 B. All right, I'm gonna get a worksheet together for you guys to work on. Um, and then I will post it on um, Google Classroom for you guys on the computer. Um, this will be for a grade. Um, Okay.